Okay, Leo, let's talk about Leo. And it's perfect because it's coming from a Leo and we love to talk about ourselves. So, <laughs> all right. I'm just gonna go off of all of my experiences and the things that I've learned about Leo, okay? One thing about Leo is we come in with really difficult blueprints. We come in with really difficult, we incarnate into difficult situations because we can handle it. We are the sun, we're the center of attention, we are the boss or the leader, and where we shine and wherever we're at. And if you're gonna come in with that expectation, then you gotta earn it. So, a Leo can be on an agenda for the best or an agenda for the worst, depending on how much resentment they have for their own path or how much they're willing to admit to their own path. All right, so a Leo woman, a Leo woman is, can be very sexual. A Leo woman knows how to manipulate a room with her sexuality. A Leo woman will steal your man. <laughs> a Leo woman will flirt with everybody. Um, a Leo woman will kick a Leo man's ass. A Leo woman knows how to be regal and business oriented and serious and knows her sensuality. A lower evolved Leo woman is going to be like a child and trying to get attention from everyone and they're going to be annoying and but it's weird because Leos have a lot of charm so they can even make their annoyances really charming and still get people to like them but because I'm a Leo and I see that shit in other Leo women who are annoying and try to do that I, it, it doesn't fly with me um Leo men are, they can be like meatheads sometimes. They can be like, like, a, like kind of like a frat guy, I guess you'd say. Um, and, you know, that, that type of demographic. Um, they are very, Competitive with other Leos. I know um, between Leo man and Leo woman, it can get very competitive and very heated and very sexual. And I know in my experience in dealing with Leo man, um, it's like we're too similar and the Leo woman is kind of like a guy. And in this world, you know, with men on this hierarchy, I mean, in my opinion, all men have some level of misogyny in them just because of the way we were raised and how we view women versus men. But um, that throws the Leo man off. But the Leo woman can't help it because we're a masculine sign, so they just got to get over it. Um, Leos can be very passive-aggressive. They're very psychic, so they can pick up what's going on in a room and how things aren't right, and then they'll address it passive-aggressively. And the reason being is because Leos like to please, Leos can be very loyal, and they want to get their true self out without damaging their relationships. So that's what causes some passive-aggressiveness. Um, Leos need a lot of sleep because, you know, if you look at a lion, lions sleep all damn day, and then, but they take care of their business. And the thing is, we're, if you're going to shine, you can't be shining all the damn time. You can't be in the center of attention all the damn time. That's why God set it up 
for you to take your ass to sleep and get your rest <laughs> so that when you do shine, it's really, really good. Every, every sign has a place and our place is to shine, but it's not supposed to happen all the time. And the thing with Leo men is um, they feel they have to, I know some Leo men, they feel they have to exert themselves and show. But the thing is they're denying who they truly are because who they truly are, they're that, they're that line in the jungle that needs to lay out in the sun and just fucking sleep. Um, Leos can get the rap of being lazy. And that's probably why a lot of Leos try to work against that so much to prove that they're not. And it's not, I mean, a Leo can be lazy and, you know, unmotivated and stuff, but what it really is, they have to understand the difference between um, trying to prove they're not lazy and actually getting the adequate rest that they need. Because we were meant to be revved up, revved up, revved up, revved up, and then peak. And then dazzle everyone. And then go back to be revved up, revved up, revved up, and peak. We're not like the Virgos say where they keep like putting out thing after thing after thing. Um, let's see, what else can I say about Leo? The reason why everybody likes Leo is because Leo has a huge heart. And we have this loyalty and this obligation to please everyone. And we feel bad when we don't. Um, it's so easy to guilt a Leo. Even, even your biggest douchebag or the bitchiest Leo, you, this is the key to getting them. You tell them an honest sob story, not a fake one, because Leos are psychic. You tell them an honest legitimate sob story about your help and what you need and you are going to get their heart or come to them with genuine charm or genuine optimism and you're going to get it you're going to you're going to touch them cuz we have a soft spot and it's the heart so i know <laughs> so i i saw someone who was kind of like isolated and I knew it wasn't about me like it wasn't my job to run and save the day and help them from their isolation but you know being a Leo I could feel it in my chest like that guilt of wanting to go befriend them or but I knew that it wasn't my responsibility and that I didn't need to be there so what did I do I guilted another Leo because I knew it would work <laughs> I was like look at them over there, they're by themselves, and da, 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 da. and I just started speaking about the things that I felt guilty about, and next thing you know, that Leo went over there and did the thing that I knew I didn't need to do. <laughs> um, what else? Leo separates their optimism from their pain and anger. A lot of Leos are afraid of their own anger. Because, like I said, we want to please people, um, which makes it come out passive aggressively. It's kind of hard working with a Leo because they can pull on some charm and some humor and make you forget yesterday how much of a bitch they were. And then another thing is, Leos don't really hold grudges like that. So. It's like a lot of things can get um, water under the bus or whatever the phrase is. Um, Leo sweat a lot. We have like hyperactive nervous systems. And um, because we have a ton of anxieties, um, I think that has to do with keeping up with presentation, keeping up with pleasing people, and then in our own corner having our own inner struggle and anxiety. Um, so we have to balance. And then some Leos um, split themselves between having a huge ego and then um, being extremely um, insecure. 
And um, what else about Leo? Leos love to have fun. And a lot of the shy Leos that I know, um, it's like being afraid to come into their power, being afraid to um, embody the royalty that is rightfully theirs. Because in this society, to coin yourself a king, to coin yourself a queen, to claim royalty is like, oh no, be humble. Don't claim that. You you know, you want to lower yourself. So they learn how to lower themselves, even though in their heart they know they're royalty. That's That's what it is. So it doesn't matter if people think that your head is swole because of it. You are royalty. You're king, you're queen. It's just there's to be a king or queen, there's a certain level of nobility in it and regalness and poised assurance. And that's the thing that Leos have to work on, their poised assurance and not splitting, you know, being like, look at me, look at me from an insecure place or don't look at me, I'm shy, you know. I also found that a lot of Leos don't give a fuck about astrology. I mean, there are a lot of Leos out there who do astrology, um, but like in the average world, I guess you'd say, um, I can talk to Pisces about astrology, I can talk to Scorpio about astrology, I can talk to Sagittarius about astrology, even Aries about astrology. I find a lot of Leos don't care because you can't tell them what to do. They don't like to be boxed. They don't like to be limited. And as soon as you start getting real specific about them and their astrology, then they're going to be like, no, he's not going to tell me how to live my life. <laughs> um, so some are closed-minded and fixed in that way. That's another thing. Leos are very fixed. They, they know what they know. And it could be a benefit thing, a benefit because if you get a Leo who's transparent and a Leo who's open to learning and a Leo who's open to tra change, they can be fixed in being open to change. And they can be fixed in transparency. But you get a Leo fixed in thinking their way or the highway, then that's annoying. Um, hmm. Leo women, I find, have a mixture of um, masculine kind of features mixed with, like, very distinct um, feminine features. So they're not, like, um, pretty, 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 like, um, like, ingenue pretty. They have like a roughness, roughness to where they could like they could play both roles. Like they can they can grunge it up, or they can pretty it up. You know, um, Leo women like their hair. I know some Leo guys like their hair too. They have a lot of pride in their hair. Um, they either switch up a bunch of styles, dye their hair a lot, grow their hair out. They like doing hair. You're going to find Leos who like to do YouTube videos, um, networking, business-oriented, um, inventive, um, creative. Um, what else about Leo? Leos like things 50-50. They like to be fair. They like justice. I find as a Leo, my relationships with Libras to be really good because they satisfy that 50-50 that need. Um, yeah. And I'll probably make another video about you guys. So I hope you enjoy that. Bye.